Good morning guys, today is April 9th, 2019 and today is the 18th week! <laughs> I mean, this is when it's starting to really sink in and I'm starting to feel something like a lot of pressure down here and it's really uncomfortable to sleep at night. I have to toss and turn and I think like the bottom right, there's like a cramp that's kind of permanent there and I have a slight back ache and I'm thinking to myself, this baby is like literally either hugging my bladder or stomping on my areas down there, my goods down there, so... What can we do to prevent from this? You get used to it. Anyways, and I was thinking this whole time, like contemplating if I should use epidural, if I should do natural, if I should do C-section. At first I wanted to do C-section, but they told me that they don't offer C-section like planned C-section unless you have a complication during delivery or labor, so that went out the door. I mean, I could actually pay for it and go to a different hospital, but we already have this insurance plan that we, that Brian got on because he was so sure sure that he was gonna have a baby this year so he planned he pre-planned it he premeditated everything and so we are with Kaiser Permanente and um, I was thinking okay if I get it through the vagina natural then maybe I can do it because my mom's done it my sister Lynn's done it my older sister Mai has done it so I'm thinking to myself I could do it you know like mm -hmm. well, how painful can it be and then I thought to myself, after receiving this back pain this morning, well, why should I? <laughs> you know, like, I get that, yes, I can do it, and then, like, it's in my head, be a monster mom and deal with the pain. But then I thought to myself, we have modern medicine, and I don't want to be frustrated. Already I'm feeling, like, frustrated during here and there during this pregnancy at Brian, and I'm frustrated. I could be frustrated at the baby. I was talking to Kat, that's what she told me. I could be really upset all around, and um, especially all these things going around in my um, family and stuff I just I'm starting to like build up so much <gasps> frustration so we are putting epidural on the table you know just leave it there just to see how I feel about it as long as the baby comes out healthy there's less pain I mean we live in 2019 and I just don't want to deal with it it's mm -hmm. kind of like headaches would I um, deal with the headaches or would I take a leave? And in my brain today, I'm gonna take that a leave, okay? 18 weeks pregnant. Let's see what we have in store for us. This book, I haven't looked at it for a moment because I just felt like it didn't really relate to me as much, but I'll just pop in every single now and then when it's like the milestone, like 18 weeks pregnant. So today, how to visualize your baby. Your baby is about five and a half inches long or about the length of a large baking potato. He weighs almost seven ounces. He's busy doing his aerobic workout, which I can vouch for, okay? With some very impressive kicks, yes, that you will feel any day now. I'm already feeling it, like, literally about the 17th week, actually. If your baby is a boy, his penis and scrotum are visible. If your baby is a girl, her uterus and her fallopian tubes are now formed. Her vocal cords are developed, but without air, she can't test them out. At this point, you're the fruit. The uterus is the size of a big cantaloupe, and it probably feels that way too. Yes, it does. It's just so heavy down there. I just want to go grab a cantaloupe and like tape it to Brian's belly so that he could <laughs> feel how uncomfortable it is in this area. <sighs> if you place your fingers below your belly button, you can no doubt feel it. But now you may have gained around 10 to 14 pounds. I'd say about um, five. five pounds. Yeah, I kind of lost here and there. Expect to gain about one pound average per week. If I gain a pound every single week from now until September 10th, what is that going to be? 22 pounds. I can do 22 pounds. Let's try to do 21 because our favorite number is 21. That's when we got married. I, no, you can't be gaining that much. The doctor said you're going to gain 18 pounds total. You're five pounds in. You only need 13 more pounds. You're usually half a pound a week. Half a pound a week. Let's check my Pregnancy Plus app and see what that says. Your baby is now covered with Vernix, a white protective coating that protects the skin from damage in the womb. So moisturizer. Facial features. Your baby is looking more like a baby now with proportionate arms and legs. Presence of fat layers under the skin and clearly defined facial features. Reproductive organs. If your little one is a girl, she already has half of the eggs she will be born with. Half of the eggs. Did you, you know that? They, they develop eggs in there already? Nope. Who knew? I just ate an egg this morning. Okay, my baby bump app. I have two apps because I want to see like the difference between the apps and the books and if it's correct, if they align with each other. It says it's uh, is the size of an artichoke. Baby's yawning. 
hiccuping and sucking and swallowing. What's it swallowing? Maybe the liquid. <laughs> okay. And baby's twisting, rolling, punching, and kicking. Punching and kicking, yes. And is big enough that you might be able to feel him or her doing it. Keeps on growing rapidly. That's why you're probably feeling so hungry. I mean, I am kind of hungry here and there, but I kind of sneak food here and there <laughs> and then Brian doesn't have to eat when I eat. Over the next few weeks you should make sure to start sleeping on your side that's because the baby and your uterus are getting big enough to press against your large veins in the back of your abdomen which can reduce the amount of blood going to your heart making you feel lightheaded. Not so fun symptoms like swollen hands and feet. Back aches, I have that. Leg cramps, no not yet but abdominal cramps. And the stress and discomfort might be keeping you up at night. Yeah. Be sure in your hectic schedule that you plan some time to unwind. Great excuse for pregnancy pampering. <laughs> Can you say prenatal massage? Okay, keep going. It's important to give your body and your mind a break for a little while. Might help you get sleep too. Oh my god. So, are you excited? Mm. This guy, this guy wins two bids and he thinks that he can bargain with me for another baby. Like, I, I am just focused on one right now. Here he is. Uh, baby needs uh, someone to play with. The baby needs a uh, company, a family. Mm -hmm. We're focusing on one right now. And... <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm ghastly too. <laughs> and I haven't pooped in three days, so it's like, what the hell? Okay. Back to work. I'm glad you said a lot of things in here. It's so <laughs> informative. I'm just part of the audience. Brian has a headache now, and I think it's because he slept too much. Sometimes when you like sleep too much, you're prone to a headache, and there's a sweet spot where you get the perfect amount of sleep to get the perfect amount of energy, and I think that's around six hours for adults. He's been doing like two hours here and there, four hours every single day, and mm. he just crashed last night, so he got nine hours guys so of course that headache's like lingering and we're gonna get him some leave he's gonna go back to work and he's heading out to a meeting in Los Angeles so I'm gonna accompany him see what I can do out by LAX besides flying out oh speaking of flying out I know I'm not supposed to book shows but I kind of did and kind of you know presented my case when I told Brian that I was like going to sing more and it's because I just feel like it's not that big of a deal in a sense and all my friends were doing it up to seven months and he was really upset when I told him the first time and I kind of like slowly presented it to him. So I picked up a show and it's in Dallas and I told him, oh well you know, um, Kat Thien just gave birth so we have to go visit her baby. And we have a deal that from here on out if I book a show then he's coming with me so he is tagging along being a little hustle and then I booked another show it's still in the works but not confirmed yet and that was in Hawaii so obviously I was like baby moon you know before we give birth and he was like okay that was easy I'll still continue you know presenting my case here and there if I see a show that I'd like to take so I'm still a working mom until I cannot work anymore fall back okay gotta bring some food on the table too all right, so I'm gonna head out soon. Get some relief for my husband because he's uh, he's hurting. You know, I don't understand why he's hurting too because it's like I'm the one with the baby. He's kicking up a storm up in here, and I'm just like, <sighs> it's weird because right now I'm 108 pounds, and when I filmed the music video Tulungu Vietnam, if you guys ever check that out, you can check that out here. I was 108 pounds, so clearly I'm a spider. Big belly, skinny arms, and back then I was just fat. <laughs> Hey man, but if you're in Vietnam, there's so so many good food. Like it's ugh. anyways, Lego. Let's get our day started. Oh, and our clothes, maternity wear. If you guys want to know where I got this, I got it from my husband's drawer. Okay? <laughs> Saves you money and you're comfortable and you kind of look cute because we're matching. <laughs> 18 weeks pregnant today, right here. This is the belly. Granny panties are in full force. You see that? Helps me keep the pressure up, not too much tension in that area. I heard you have to have that to like not feel all the weights going down. And most of the time I feel like I'm walking like this because it's just heavy. So we need to keep this up, okay? Tummy, tuck, control. A quick stroll and there's my ride. <laughs> Hi 
Hi, stranger. Hello, pretty. All right, we're here at LAX. He's leaving now. Toodles. All right, gonna kill some time at Kohl's. I'm dropping off some stuff from Amazon. Here it is. Very nice. Just returning some spanks that don't fit no more because I'm a fatty. Shopping in the granny panty section. This is the extra firm tummy control. <laughs> tummy solution. Oh man, oh man. Seriously, I feel like we women have so many issues. <laughs> Sagging titties, tummy out of control. Oh. Lost in this forest of uh, bras. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Maternity wear. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> I seriously cannot find anything cute in here. Even JLo's line. Look at this. What is this? What's going on? My goodness. I don't know. I didn't find anything cute in there. <laughs> I was hoping to find one maternity item, but... It's not my style. One whole hour later and I picked Mr. Kewell up. How's your meeting? It's okay. He was doing two meetings at the same time. One on the phone and one in person. And he was like trying to balance them both. We're heading home right now to get some... Uh, Food. I need food. Oh. I haven't eaten. What are you going to eat? Let's just get a small croissant. You know, where? Starbucks. It's really nice out today. Like, I felt good walking around for one hour. <laughs> you go out if you want? No, we're not going to go out because Brian's belly right here. We got to protect him. We want him to get his energy back, not be tired, overweight, blobby, etc. So, I'm going to try my best to uh, monitor. Him. Look at that, LA, downtown LA from a distance. Party. But when you get closer, it's all pollution. It's not that dirty, it's gotten a lot better. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Here is uh, my Starbucks butter croissant I've been craving forever and um, coffee right here. 12 ounces only. Okay, so this croissant is from La Boulange. When it comes to food, we follow our hearts and never cut corners. We're thoughtful about choosing the finest ingredients and following artisanal traditions for the recipes we create. So you'll taste the goodness in every bite. Who's excited? I'm not having any. Okay, you can watch me. <laughs> Their croissants are so buttery. Mm. I wish you get some donuts. I cook you something. Okay, how's that? That way it's made with love. Oh geez. A little drama on the freeway or on the road. Hope everyone's safe. Hey guys, so um, this is kind of a, a bit of an awkward situation, but yesterday I vlogged that I was sending out some CDs that were ordered. And I think some of you guys kind of misunderstood that these CDs were free to like you know, get sent out. And I guess, um, you know, for me, it's kind of like, I kind of put a lot of effort into making this CD and, you know, a lot of um, expenses and finances have been into the CD, like, you know, the song, the producing, the recordings, the designers, the photo shoots, the printings of the CD, and, you know, to send it out for free. Um, <laughs> You guys are kind of killing me here, you know what I mean? And I totally get that a lot of times people don't find it in this time and age something that they want to pay for in terms of music when everything is available online and um, which is totally fine because I get that we are in 2019 and that's why I kind of made it available to you guys online for free. Like if you guys wanted it, then um, you can go to my website on unmin at unmin.net slash am to get the songs for free. Um, <laughs> but just wanted to clear out the misunderstanding, the miscommunication between the free materials online. I mean, you can get it there. That's why I set it up for you guys on YouTube. Uh, you can download anything you want. Everything is there for free. But for CDs, um, it's kind of something that that, you know going out of my way to pay to send it it's kind of <laughs> yeah you know what I mean but um, for those of you who have that misunderstanding then I'm gonna send it out to you guys you know for free but just want to clear you know clear the um, case 
that the CDs are kind of there to support if you guys want to. And if you don't, then once again, you can always go on my website to get it for free. But if you guys want to support and order it, like the hard copy, then you can email me at admin.net. Admin, admin and if I see you guys live show and you guys want the CDs for free, then that's totally fine. I get that, you know, in this time and age, it's just really difficult to, you know, understand to buy a CD. But in terms of me going out of my way to send it, it cost me time and also cost me money as as well. So I feel like a lot of effort has been put into the project. So um, I can only do so much, <laughs> you know? And this is the reason why a lot of times singers don't want to have CDs and the industry is kind of dying because people don't want to buy CDs anymore. So it's really hard for me to continue singing, which I've been contemplating on going into retirement because it's just so difficult to put a lot of effort into it. And most of the time it's like not much returns. So yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, just want to clear the record. <laughs> Okay, I will send out to those who had that miscommunication once again. I mean, I it's really awkward for me to Say but um, it's like kind of pulling my arm and my leg. It's killing me right now. Okay, so the CD situation I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and uh, yeah, so yeah, There you have it <laughs> Alright guys, so um, I said I was gonna cook for Ryan to keep his body and diet in check so we are going to do salmon here it is this is from Costco it's the frozen kind I'm gonna heat it up for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees so diet starts today okay here it is salmon is nicely cooked and I think the skin is very nice and crispy perfect for Brian to eat I don't like salmon so I got myself to go right here Brian will have a salad with his um, salmon because I don't want him to eat rice that's carbs and that's just gonna add a lot of stuff to his belly so no carbs okay honey a little bit of dressing and this is not creamy dressing it's like a vinaigrette so it should be okay mm -hmm. ready to eat you know I'm like I feel like I'm torturing him but it's for his own good okay he needs to get his energy <laughs> he's just a blob lately he's always super tired and so that's not good I also got him a chicken curry this is also very good. This is all from Earth Cafe, okay? So these are the only things that I buy from Earth Cafe. They're Earl Grey, which is only three ounces of caffeine, the famous chicken curry that everyone raves about. And also the next thing that I only order is the Tanini Diablo. I went kind of like, you know, out of the box the other day and got like a, a roast and I was like, mm, I don't like it. So we're sticking to what we like. Bon appetit. Brian's in a meeting right now, so he's gonna continue to talk and um, he's gonna fire somebody today. So we will catch you guys tomorrow. We're gonna enjoy our dinner and um, go to sleep. So um, I also want to show you that I ordered a cheesecake. This is an Oreo cheesecake. I have the blueberry cheesecake, but I called today and asked them how long does it last, and it says a few days. So. A few days have passed, so I gotta get a replace. So this is it. Yay! Also, this is how I keep my body in shape, less carbs. I just kind of took off the two tops and then put them on top of each other. So this is one sandwich, extra meat, avocados, and some greens. And cheese. Love cheese. Alright, good night guys.